right, this is our second video of the night. The first one was weak sauce. <laughs> we are going to be looking at backbone bourbon. Let's open this and let it breathe. It should be a little better. Oh, my God, I can't find a thing. It's right there. All right, so we're going to let this breathe a little bit. Oh. That's still weak. Does it say on the side? Well, we're gonna find out after I pour it. Good, 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 good. That's good. Ooh. All right. Thick on the walls there. Ah, fake cork. All right. So, what's it say on the side? Selected by. Oh yeah, we got this at. Party, um, the party source. That's what it says oh, on the yeah. side. And uh, there's the specifics. It there's says Starbucks. the party source on there. Um, and it, this is bottle 62 out of 154. It's a single barrel. And this is 116.4 proof. Apparently, when I read, they're all single barrels from that company. Good to know. Fun fact. <laughs> 20 and 30 gallons. Um... This was our, our last place when we were going in Kentucky over the summer and we were heading out back into Cincinnati. We stopped at the party source. Big store. We could have just stopped there and did all our shopping. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to get this because um, last year from SLB, Kurt and Trenton, oh. they did a tournament <clears throat> and this was in the tournament. So I'm like, oh, you know, that sounds cool. It sounded interesting. Now, obviously, it's not the same thing they got, but, you know, I figured I saw it on the shelf. I'll grab it because I never saw it here in Buffalo. I don't remember how much it cost. Do you? Uh, yeah, I just looked it up. It was like uh, 73 74 really? wow. $75. Yeah, so it was a, it was a little No, bit. when you're on vacation, you have no concept of money. Bye, bye, bye. Well, uh, you know, the, cre the you credit card was going up there. <laughs> So let's talk about yesterday. Oh, the lottery. The lottery. Well, there's a liquor store called Wild Horse, and it is, we live south. It is up north. It's about a half hour ride, then rush hour traffic. Um, I get an email saying that they're going to have a bourbon event. So when they do that, you got to run there. Get in line. Get a number and get in line, right? I'm like half hour, 40 minutes for me to get there. I am... Not going to be in a good spot. The weather was pretty crummy, so we thought people would be outside, but they weren't. We got picks 20 and 21. Uh, I texted my buddy Quentin, and he got there seventh. My buddy Nick got there sixth. They got good stuff. Nick, stuff. Yeah, Nick got a cellar age. Cellar age for, I don't know. At sixth pick. Yeah, because knuckleheads took like, uh, I'm going to take the Weller foolproof and, and the Rock Hill Farms and the Blanton's Gold and stuff like that. And I'm like, really, the first thing off the board should have been the cellar And the age. price was phenomenal. It was like 140 150 or something Yeah, 159 like that. I think. Yeah, so that's good considering, you know, you probably see it for 300 or so, I bet you. And Quentin, he got, um, he got a uh, Russell's Rickhouse. I'm glad he wanted that. Mm -hmm. So then we're standing in line. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, a random guy that I was having a conversation with. I'm talking to you because I didn't get your name. But he's like, hey, you're the YouTube guy, right? Or did he say YouTube couple? I don't know. I recognized you on yeah. YouTube. Uh, okay. I re yeah. And he's then he's like, you know. We're and Brian goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, and then I tell my wife to come in and watch the videos, and she's kind of looking like this. <laughs> you know, like. You know, they're making fun of us. <laughs> you, you, you know, like, yeah, he does drag me in here to watch this stuff. <laughs> and, you know, I rather not, dude. So, you know, she, that, that kind of look. She didn't say anything, you know. Um, but, you know, I said we got to cut out the uh, idle chit chat, and he's like, oh, no, I like that. It's the best part. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't get your name. <laughs> yeah. But you can, if you're watching, just leave it in the comments. All right? Then you can come over and you can be a guest on the show. 
and just <laughs> drink. Okay, we'll just drink. Get slammered on camera. Um, but anyways, we, we go up to the thing and uh, they had like Weller 12s for 100 bucks. I'm like, eh. We got like five Weller 12s in the house and I paid like 54 and 74 and I'm not paying 100 for it for a six one, you know? And then they had Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which I probably should have got for 80 bucks, but I'm gonna get it from a store that- That we frequent often. Yeah, you know, gonna give them my money, you know? So I just, <laughs> I go up and I'm oh, like- They had Rare left too. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, you know, they had Buffalo Trace and stuff like that, but nothing I wanted. And you know, I just handed them the card. I'm, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> the lady looked at me like, what the hell? Well, <laughs> you you hey. waited here for an hour for this? <laughs> not going to buy for the sake of buying. Let somebody else take that that doesn't have it. You know? Yeah. You and, it. you know, it, it was a little sketchy. She, she yeah, yeah, no, don't get into that. No? no? We don't talk about the sketchiness? No. The two barrel proofs and then there was one? Okay. <laughs> I guess we talked about it. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't list the sketchiness. <laughs> Gave the name of the place. <laughs> That's okay. We don't know if they de-sketchified it, though. All right, we're going to set the timer on this and get a little nose on this. I'm excited for this because we had an 80-proof Blanton's before, and whew, that was weak sauce. This being 116, this should be better. Okay, ready? We got a timer? Timer. On your mark. Get set. Nose. I'm going to defer to the queen because my oh. nose is atrocious. The only thing I can smell is... Buffalo yeah. Trace products and and um, <coughs> and um, if it's uh, if it's proofy, you know. Yeah. No, it's it's your typical a little sweet, a little vanilla, a little caramel, something citrusy in there too. I think. Nice, mm. not bad. I'm getting something there. The citrus. I don't know. I'm getting a little. Uh... Okay. I really got to stick my big nose in there. <laughs> I'm getting a little wood. I'm getting a little... <laughs> Whoa! Today's my lucky we, day. <laughs> we got to change the rating on this. A green wood? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We better, we better uh, set the timer and actually try this. <laughs> Finish it like pepperminty mint. In the end. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to take another sip. Oh, no. I, I thought it was pretty typical. Sweet on the beginning. At the end, a little minty, like pepperminty. It's got a good finish. You could drink this every day, like an everyday sipper. I don't know if you should, I don't think it's worth 75 yeah. bucks, 50 maybe. Well, it's sweet. Um, I'm going to have to go back in. A lot of smacking going on. It's sweet in the beginning, but I don't know what kind of sweetness it is. It's almost a sugary sweet to me. Oh, you know what Brown we're gonna sugary? do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna put a little droppage in, yeah. And um, what I got on my first sip, like halfway through, was either a little uh, fennel or, or licorice. I think that's the mint I was talking and, about. Yeah, and that's yeah. the mint. Like it could be either or, I can't really. I think it's a high rye, so. I can't really define what it is. It wasn't off-putting, like if it was a fennel or a licorice. Uh, not like the Woodenville that got me thrown oh, out of yeah. the BBE. Yeah. Um, That's but, a good story for another yes. day. But it, it was it was an interesting note at the mid to the end of the palate, and we have a little sugariness here. So we're gonna set the timer again. Mm, not that bad though. No, I enjoy it. Um, I get better than that. Blanton's <laughs> right, green, but um, yeah, minty, not peppermint, more like uh, spearmint, wintergreen, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, got a nice little hug, nothing too major going on. You know, we added some water, it's got excellent legs, mm -hmm. unlike me. <laughs> Thick mouthfeel, yeah, not bad. So, you always pick the good ones, I pick the crap. I'm going to say, and I got it on my first sip and on my last sip, um, I don't know if it's oak, but it does have a drying effect on my tongue. 
It's not so much where it's making it curl up and shrivel. It's oak or tobacco. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it's, it's, it does have a drying. It's not an overly drying, like it's leaving my tongue dry. You know, like sometimes it, um, that's why I'm smacking a lot. I think you get that with the higher proofs. Well, or uh, I wonder what the age statement is on this. We didn't say. Does it say? Mm-mm. Hmm. When I look online, it's, it's up there. Like at least nine. Barrel date. Ten fifteen. Bottled on eleven twenty one. So we're looking at six years. So that's not bad. Mm -mm. Six years. Seventy three. Okay, they seventy three months. Yeah. So they're going to go six years in a month. Um. But yeah, it's it's a little bit drying, but not so much where it it it. it, It doesn't make me want to drink more. I think if you had a bigger pour of it, it would be much more drying. Well, if I kept on drinking it. Mm-hmm. Do you want more? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we opened two new bottles. Our house is not a museum. We do drink them. Well, there's a few that are a museum. Yeah, they're back there. <laughs> We're hoping to get a few more. George T. Stagg would be nice. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. They got to do better. I hope that new cornerback they signed solidifies the secondary a little bit, a journeyman. Go Sounds Bills. Like Go Bills. Yeah, that was much better than the, the other one. That was if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, leave a comment below, <laughs> and subscribe to our station.